Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Measy Mill, back today with another banger. In today's video, we're gonna be reacting to this video somebody sent to me on Facebook. Apparently, somebody got pulled over by the police, right? And they happened to pull out their, their ratchet, even though he fully complied with the laws and everything that he was supposed to do by law, correct? I'm just gonna react to this video. I haven't seen it. I really don't know what's gonna happen. But I think I have a good understanding of what the laws are when you get pulled over because it's happened to me before. So yeah, we're just gonna hop right into the video. We're gonna see if it's, what's really popping about this? It was two weeks ago, I got stopped on Arden right there by a hostess. Down that window factory. The Thank you. So you gotta you gotta take it for the, the tent already? Yeah. You gotta roll that. Bro. And I did. I did. Hey, how you doing? You don't have to uh, roll that window down, my guy. Do I got to? Mm -hmm. Because I just told you to. No, I'm saying. I got it right. I count that up. Yeah. For my safety? And for my safety also. This is all being auto recorded, by the way. Too. That's okay. correct. Right yeah. Too. Okay. Okay, so you gotta fix the ticket for the window tent. I gotta uh, fix the ticket for that too, also. And the front plate. And which is not due until, uh, I don't know. I got to take that down. So. Okay. All right. You yeah. have your driver's license on your uh, yeah, it's my backpack in the back. Okay, here, I'll just take your name for a second. Right. What's your name, sir? Uh, Rudy, R-U-D-Y. What is it? R-U-D-Y. R-U-D-Y. Uh, O-R-N-E-L-A-S. How everybody in the world knows uh, his birthday? name. 614-95. Uh, just to make sure I got the last name spelled right, it's O-R-N. LAS. Yes. What's your okay. social? Right. You I'm, just, I'm just playing. Yeah. Everything sure. insurance good. Registrate. Okay. All that, so. Probation, parole, anything like nah, that? Nothing. Yeah. Okay. You can get the register going to the car. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sit tight for me. Okay. I'll be right back. Right. So you said for your safety. Now, no, for real though, if the uh, police officer walks up to your driver's side, correct? There's another officer that's on the other side of the car. You do not have to roll the window down on that side. Even if they pull up to your driver's side, you don't even have to roll the window all the way down. You just roll it down enough so you you can show them what they need, like your uh, driver's license, registration, things like that, proof of insurance. You show it to them. That's all you have to do. You don't have to speak to them. You don't have to do none of that. So from this point. It's, it's a little fishy already, but yeah, no problem. Yeah, Sorry? I said no problem. And he just being nice, like he's like I'm back in Nazi person. Germany or something. The way you people get treated like this, you know. <laughs> you know your history. I do. Okay, so you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't understand don't. Nazi I don't Germany? See the okay. <laughs> this dude, bro, I'm okay, weak. She I'm said she just right. looked at him and said nothing. With my car. Yeah. Uh, I mean, whatever y'all got going on, you feel me? I don't know nothing about that. We were doing something completely else. And oh. Somebody took time out of their day, took them over and flagged us down regarding you. Why Reg you regarding that? me? Regarding you and your vehicle. No, that's that's false. Any weapons in the vehicle? Uh, yeah. What kind of weapons? Is, is this is a registered firearm. They're normally supposed to ask you about weapons when they first uh, pull up to the car. They ask you if there's anything inside of your car that they need to know about, right? If his answer is yes, then they know that they that he has a weapon. But he's showing no threat or any warning that he's going to use that weapon against him. So he has his head. Look, look, you see how he has his hands on the steering wheel? And he has both of his hands in view so the officer can see him. He's in no threat. My name. To, yeah, to the officer, and they just use that as an excuse all the this time. This is also, bro. you know, got the business under my name too. So, just go ahead and keep your hands on the steering wheel. Yeah. Me. See, he keeping his hand on the steering wheel. He's not doing nothing wrong. He says he's not. Where? Where's it at? It's in the trunk. It's in the trunk. Yeah. Okay. You good with him for a second? Can I talk to you for one second? He ain't got to open the trunk. He ain't got nothing to do with just that. Keep either. your hands on the wheel, okay? Now, if this was me, at this point, I'd be shaking balls. I'd still be kind of nervous because you never know what a police officer can do. And also, for their side, they never know what somebody inside a car could do either. So, I mean, it goes both ways. I try to be justifiable on things like this. You feel me? So, eh. Dude, she was white as fuck. <laughs> Dude, she is big white, like big white. All right, sir. Hey, yeah. just because you got a firearm in the car, okay, we're just gonna do this the safe way, okay? So, what I need you to do, can you undo your seatbelt for me? Uh, can I call the supervisor, please? What? I would like your well, supervisor. You can talk to him afterwards. Sir, I would like your supervisor. Okay, we're, we're gonna talk to him afterwards. Uh, that, you I need, need to do what well, I Can you call him on your radio? 
Huh? Can you call him on your radio? He's not trying to call hey, his supervisor on the radio. I'm okay, okay. okay. I, I'm a citizen too, bro. Okay. It's like, and you, and you work for public and safety. You, you're doing your hey. job. What, what's your what's your cause? Hey. Of, what's your cause? Calm down. Calm down. What's your cause of stopping me? Is what I want to know. You didn't even give me a cause. You said for your tent. I told you I got That's a ticket. That's probable cause to pull you over, right? Okay. Just you, whoa. whoa. What? That's way. Whoa. Are you serious? Your fingers on the back of your head. Whoa. So you telling me they pulled the gun out like that? He said his gun was in the trunk. It's hey, not even it's all good. accessible to him it's right all now. Good. You so, bro. Wait, this way. Sorry, towards the steering wheel. Oh my, yo, what? First of all, bro, there's so much wrong right here, bro. He's had his hands in a way that he, that the police officer could see the whole entire time, right? So look. He's not doing nothing wrong at all. He's not doing nothing wrong. Then the woman was back there. I don't know what she said. I couldn't hear anything she was talking about. He doesn't know what they're saying. Even even we don't, I don't think the camera can hear. And then they come to the car and then he says, I need you to get out the car, right? You don't have to get out the car. First of all, he's been pulled over for something that has nothing to do with the reason why they want him to get out the car. They don't say why he's being pulled over other than his tent, right? So you put me over for my tent. I have already got a ticket for it. He should be able to go on with his day if they don't give him another ticket or a warning, right? So the gun has nothing to do with why he's being pulled over. The gun has nothing like, what? And then they pulled a gun out just because he said that he wants his supervisor to be called? If if you do one thing wrong, she could just shoot you. Like, it's crazy. Bro, that's, bro, what? Yo, this is nutty. So they he asked why he was be being detained. And the officer's response was, I pulled you over and you told me there was a gun in your car, right? Then I told you to get out the car to comply with me, right? So if the officer is here to protect the citizens and safety, right? That's what they're supposed to be, whatever. He was not doing anything wrong other than having a tent on his car, right? So if that was the reason why he was being pulled over, after they figured out that his tent, he's already gotten a ticket for it, they could either give him a ticket, a warning, or let him leave. What does the gun have to do with any of this? What does him not getting out of the car because he doesn't have to because the supervisor was not being called? He asked for a supervisor to be called. If the police officer was really there for safety, then he would have called the supervisor with no problem, right? It's kind of chilly in my room, so I just wanted to go put on a shirt, but I cannot believe this, like... I may be wrong. Comment down below if this was lawful or unlawful. Honestly, this has never happened to me. And I'm not 100, I'm not a lawyer or none of that. So let me know if, if I was right or wrong. But I still feel like either way it goes, it's crazy. Like he did not do anything that deserved someone pulling a gun out on him, you feel me? But yeah, I hope you enjoyed my reaction or I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't really know if this should be enjoyed or not. Yeah, it's been your boy Measy Mill reacting to another video, and we out.